Hi, welcome to Camixel Technologies YouTube channel and in this video we will be seeing how to create super source with Atom Mini Extreme. So this process is completely same for all the Atom switches and it is available starting from Atom Mini Xtreme, Xtreme ISO, 2ME Production Studio, 4ME Production Studio and Atom Constellation 8K. Though it is a basic switcher but you can go up to 6 picture in pictures in one single frame. So let's get started. I have my laptop here, I have my Atom Mini Xtreme here and I have a multi view hooked up. So as I said earlier you can just punch between different sources if you want PGM you can select PGM or multi view or clean feed so it's all up to us we can choose over here but I'm choosing multi view so you get a better understanding of what is going on okay so I have my software control here so first thing is you have the super source palette in the right side of your Atom software you can just click it you can choose what uh, template you want as of a basic so let's say I want three uh, box so I'm just selecting three box and you have an option here to choose your background which is a graphics so I'm going to the media page right here and in the media page you have this three box which is built in it is available in our basic uh, installation of Atom so when you install the Atom software in the computer it gives you a basic set of graphics which is available so I'm just going to drag and drop it is already dropped in our first viewer so I'm coming to the switcher page so how to bring in the super source to your picture so you know how to bring in your sources over here but how to bring super source so you can see this preview button over here so first always bring it to your preview you can see this SSRC button which is super source when I click the super source button it turns into green and you can see it is on the left side which is the preview button over here and we have already selected the layout over here and you can go to the art section and you can change your art like if you want to change it to media player 2 you can change it but media player 2 doesn't make sense it doesn't have any holes in the image so media player is one is where we have kept our background or graphics so it is almost done over there so then you can just use any one of your transitions let's say i'm going to use a dip and it's going to be two seconds and i'm going to hit auto you can see the super source over here pink becomes red as well as super source in the software becomes red automatically and you have a beautiful transition so this is a preset let's say i want to do something uh, more than a preset i want four boxes and plus i need a two dve which is available in the upstream ks so let's see that too so first i'll bring back that i'm just hitting again cut so it reverses program to preview preview to program so we are in the super source right now so i want four boxes so now four boxes are now it is four boxes but the graphics is same exactly the same thing so how do we solve this i'm going to the media page right now and i'm searching for some four boxes graphic let's say this is four way boxes it is available here i'm just putting it over here and putting it to the first media player now you can see the four boxes have been aligned properly and it's really cool but I need more I need six of the boxes so I'm coming to the switcher here and in super source we have the position and scale control so you can do your position uh, scaling down uh, positioning and you can do uh, your size and all kinds of stuff plus you can also add your upstream keys DV press key one which is always in the preview right now and you have your sizing controls over here you can uh, bring down your size and keep your uh, box wherever you want but for an easier process uh, how to do it so I have Photoshop here so Photoshop is uh, automatically has an inbuilt plugin uh, when you install a switcher so I have this four box here and two DVs will be added later so in this Photoshop I'm just going to come to the file and I'm just going to come to the export and in the export I'm going to say Atom Switcher Media Pool so this only gets enabled when you install the Atom software so I'm selecting Atom Switcher Media Pool and you can see it automatically you, you have to enter your IP address if it is wrong over here I have already entered it 
So I'm going to name this uh, media pool location is one and it is going to set as media player one since we are having that super source inside it. When I hit export, it automatically goes. You can see the background has been changed and the four boxes are in a different, different way. So with this, we can reorganize the places where we want. So as of now, you know how to reorganize. You can change your position, you can change your size and all stuff. In super source, each and every box can be controlled change it into different different size and everything but in this tutorial purpose i have done a macro which will recall all the settings to this particular six box scenario so what i'm going to do is use a macro now macro go to macro and i have ssrc6 uh, which i have created earlier i'm just going to select this and hit run and you can see automatically all the six boxes has been aligned properly uh, you may wonder how uh, I need a different different sources in these six boxes. How am I going to achieve that? It's quite simple. So you come to the super source here. You have box one. You can choose any camera you want. Camera one, camera two, or you want to put a media player two there. You can do and it automatically changes in the box over here. It's quite simple for all the other boxes as well. So box two is what you are seeing right now. It's us. You can see the box two and uh, in box three if you want to put another stuff let's say i'm going to put camera one and box four again if uh, if you want color one you can put for the dv additional dves and external dv this is a manual process in this you need to go to the upstream here and select your fill source over here so fill source may be color two we have not introduced and in upstream here two we are using another dve so which i'm going to mention this as color bars maybe so all the six boxes can have different different sources and you can bring graphics from a photoshop or any other graphic software you can put a placeholders and then you can configure it record it and then you can pull back pull back anytime you want so that's how the super source simply works in simple words but to achieve this you need a little bit of practice so now we are in still in the preview over here so how to bring this into program it's quite simple we are going to use the same method we are going to use mix or let's say i'm going to use a, a okay a different kind of transition i'm going to use a 2.0 which is a two second transition and i'm going to hit auto you can see the beautiful transition happening over here so now you are live you are on on air so configure everything in the preview and bring it to the program so that is all about working with super source in atom mini extreme okay. so I'll come back with you another video of how to stream with Ada Mini Extreme using a smartphone with the built-in hardware streaming feature. So stay tuned guys and stay safe.